Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's game, I wanted to ask a question. Do you have extra cards lying around that you don't use? Want to buy or trade for some extra cards but don't know how to maximize the value? Then you should try out today's sponsor, Card Conduit. Card Conduit is the best service when it comes to selling your extra cards. Don't waste hours trying to find the best buy list price for your cards online. Simply send them to Card Conduit and let them take care of the rest. I have used Card Conduit multiple times already. I always use them to get the best value for my extra cards. I get fair prices for my cards and they save me tons of time. They have three main services. Their standard service lets you send them your unsorted cards of any value. They will sort, grade, and give you the best price for your cards. Their curated service is similar. Send them your unsorted cards worth over a dollar in value. They will charge half the fee of the standard service and charge no fee per card. Their sorted service is a great value as well. Choose cards in advance with their selection tool, send them sorted to Card Conduit, and they will grade and buy list them automatically. Save yourself the time of having to send to multiple sites and let Card Conduit do it instead. Their fee is only 2% with no fee per card. They give you the best price for your cards. They work with competitive buy listing partners, including ones not open to the public. Users get an average of 19% more for their collection than they would from any major retail buy list, even with Card Conduit's fees. Card Conduit also optimizes buy listing for card condition as well. Since vendors have different penalties for wear and tear, Card Conduit will find the best buy list priced against the specific condition of the card. So give Card Conduit a try today. If you sign up with my link in the description below or use the promo code POWER, you will also get 10% off of their fees when you use their service. A big thanks to Card Conduit for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Cal, piloting Nimrus, Unus Trickster. This is a control deck that uses its commander for card advantage and then tries to win with a Thoracle combo. His opening hand contains a Flooded Strand, Bloodstained Mire, Soul Ring, Demonic Tutor, Consider, Spell Pierce, and a Mana Crypt. Next, we have Ryan, Pouting Magda, Brazen Outlaw. This deck seeks to tap a bunch of dwarves with its commander to make a bunch of treasures and then use Magda to search up game-winning combos. His opening hand contains a Soul Guide Lantern, Dwarven Blast Miner, Dwarven Trader, Winter Orb, Mountain, Red Elemental Blast, and a Gemstone Caverns. Next, we have our Mox Pearl patron Brandon, Pouting Marwyn the Nurturer. This is a storm deck that tries to use untap and pump effects to make Marwyn huge and create infinite mana to win the game. His opening hand contains an Aim High, Burst of Strength, Chrome Mox, Utopia Sprawl, Coveted Jewel, Forest, and a Recycle. Finally, we have our Mox Pearl patron Sean, piloting Borborygmos and Fibblethip. This deck tries to assemble infinite mana and bounce its commander to draw its deck and kill its opponents. His opening hand contains a Fine Horn Elves, Forbidden Orchard, Lightning Bolt, Jeweled Lotus, Talisman of Curiosity, Talisman of Impulse, and a Phyrexian Metamorph. Without further ado, let's kick off a silly salty slinging slog. Brandon completed the Tears of the Kingdom speedrun and gets to start us off. But Ryan has a pregame action, creating two cat tokens to distract his opponents with their cuteness. He also puts Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield, exiling Soul Guide Lantern. Brandon draws a card for turn and plays a forest. He casts a Chrome Mox and printing Utopia Sprawl. He casts Wild Growth. He passes the turn. Sean draws and plays a Forbidden Orchard. He taps it, giving Ryan a spirit to cast Fine Horn Elves. Sean casts a Jeweled Lotus. He ends his turn. Cal draws and plays a Mana Confluence. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts a Soul Ring. He taps Mana Confluence to help cast a Monarch Tutor. He fetches up a card into his hand and then ships the turn to Ryan. Ryan draws and plays a Mountain. He casts his Commander, Magda Brazen Outlaw. He passes the turn. Brandon draws and casts his Commander, Marwyn the Nurturer. He ends the turn. Sean draws and taps Forbidden Orchard, giving Ryan a spirit to help cast his Commander, Borborygmos and Fibblethip. Borborygmos and Fibblethip enter, Sean draws a card and declines to discard. He plays an Ottawa R, Soaring City as his land for turn. He passes. During his upkeep, Cal loses his Mana Crypt flip and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He casts a Rhystic Study. He ships the turn. Ryan draws and plays a Barbarian Ring. He moves to combat and attacks Cal with Magda. Magda triggers and Ryan creates a treasure. Cal takes it and in his second main phase, Ryan casts Dwarven Trader, paying for Rhystic Study. He ends the turn. Brandon draws and casts Aim High, targeting Marwyn, paying for Rhystic. He untaps Marwyn and she gets plus two plus two and gains reach until the end of turn. He casts a Burst of Strength, targeting Marwyn, paying for Rhystic. He puts a 1-1 counter on Marwyn and untaps her. He casts Stony Strength, targeting Marwyn, paying for Rhystic. He puts another counter on Marwyn and untaps her. He casts Coveted Jewel and decides to stop paying his taxes. Cal draws through Rhystic, then Coveted Jewel enters and Brandon draws three cards. He casts Rishkar's Expertise and Cal draws through Rhystic. In response, Cal taps his Mana Confluence to cast Spell Pierce, targeting Rishkar's Expertise. Expertise is countered and Brandon passes the turn. Sean draws and taps Forbidden Orchard, giving Ryan another spirit to help cast Jessica's Will, choosing both modes and Cal draws through Rhystic. Sean adds six red and exiles Wooded Foothills, 
Lion's Eye Diamond, and Eldritch Evolution. He plays the Wooded Foothills. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a tropical island onto the battlefield. He casts Lion's Eye Diamond. He casts a Gamble, paying for Ristic. He fetches up a card into his hand and then randomly discards Phyrexian Metamorph. He casts an Underworld Breach, paying for Ristic. He cracks his LED, discards his hand, and adds 3 red. He escapes Gamble and Cal draws through Ristic. In response, Cal casts Pact of Negation, countering Gamble. This, unfortunately, was a perfectly timed counterspell, so Sean goes into the tank. He escapes LED, paying for Ristic. He moves to combat and attacks Cal with Borborygmos and Fimblethim. It triggers, Sean draws, and doesn't discard. Then Cal takes 6. In his second main phase, Sean cracks his LED, discards his hand, and adds 3 green. He casts Eldritch Evolution, sacrificing Finehorn Elves as an additional cost, and Cal draws for Ristic. Sean fetches up a Dockside Extortionist onto the battlefield and exiles Eldritch Evolution. In response, Ryan cracks a treasure for a red. Dockside enters, and Sean creates 6 treasures. Sean escapes Baron, Master Wizard, and Cal draws through Ristic. In response, Cal never didn't have it, and casts Force of Will for its alternate cost, paying a life, exiling a blue card, countering Baron. With no other avenues, Sean attempts to move through phases. In response, Ryan uses his floating mana to cast Red Elemental Blast, targeting Ristic's study. Cal draws through Ristic, and Ristic is destroyed. Sean passes, sacrificing Underworld Breach. During his upkeep, Cal loses his Mana Crypt Flip and takes 3 damage. Also during his upkeep, he taps his Mana Confluence to help pay for Pact of Negation. He draws and plays an Island. He passes the turn. Ryan draws and moves to combat. He attacks Brandon with both Dwarves. Magda triggers twice, and Ryan creates 2 treasures. With no blocks, Coveted Jewel triggers, Ryan draws 3 cards, gains control of Coveted Jewel, and untaps it. Then Brandon takes the hit. In his second main phase, Ryan casts a Mana Crypt. He casts Dwarven Blast Miner. He casts Smuggler's Copter. He casts Winter Orb. He casts Lightning Bolt, killing Marwyn. He ends his turn. Brandon draws and casts Finale of Devastation, where X equals 1. He fetches up an Arbor Elf onto the battlefield. He ships the turn. Sean untaps Forbidden Orchard through Winter Orb. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Cal with Borborygmos and Fibblethip. They trigger, Sean draws a card and discards Ancient Tomb, targeting Magda. In response, Ryan crews Smuggler's Copter with Dwarven Blast Miner. Magda triggers and Ryan creates a treasure. Then Magda is destroyed. Sean passes the turn. Cal untaps Underground Sea through Winter Orb. During his upkeep, he wins his Mana Crypt Flip. He draws and plays a Flooded Strand. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Snow-Covered Island onto the battlefield. He casts Grim Monolith. He casts its commander, Nimrus, Unus Trickster. He ends his turn. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt Flip and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Mountain. He casts its commander, Magda, Brazen Outlaw. He taps Magda to crew Smuggler's Copter. Magda triggers, and Ryan creates a treasure. He attacks Brandon with its Copter. Copter triggers, and Ryan draws and discards. Brandon takes it, and Ryan passes. Brandon untaps his land through Winter Orb. He draws and plays a Besaju, who endures as his land for turn. He casts his commander, Marwyn the Nurturer. He ships the turn. Sean untaps Ottawara through Winter Orb. He draws and moves to combat. In response, Ryan casts Pyroblast, targeting Borborygmos and Fibblethip. In response, Sean casts Fierce Guardianship for its alternate cost, countering Pyroblast. Sean attacks Cal with Borborygmos and Fibblethip. They trigger, Sean draws, and discards Polluted Delta, again targeting Magda. In response, Ryan crews Smuggler's Copter with Dwarven Trader and Dwarven Blast Miner. Magda triggers twice, and Ryan creates two treasures. With no blocks, Cal takes six. Sean ends his turn. Cal untaps his Underground Sea through Winter Orb. During his upkeep, he loses his Mana Crypt Flip and takes three damage. He draws and passes the turn. Ryan untaps a Mountain through Winter Orb. During his upkeep, he wins his Mana Crypt Flip. He draws and recasts Magda Brazen Outlaw. He casts Ashnod's Transmigrant. In response, knowing that this is game over, Sean casts Pact of Negation, countering Transmigrant. Next, Ryan crews Copter with Dwarven Trader. Magda triggers, and Ryan creates a treasure. He moves to combat and attacks Brandon with Copter. Copter triggers, and Ryan draws and discards. Brandon takes three, and Ryan ends the turn. Brandon untaps his forest through Winter Orb. He draws and plays a City of Traders. He casts Scale Up, targeting Marwyn. In response, Cal casts Fierce Guardianship for its alternate cost, targeting Scale Up. Nimrus triggers. Cal looks at the top two cards of his library, putting one into his hand and a clear water pathway into his graveyard. Then Scale Up is countered. Next, Brandon casts Memory Jar. He casts Boon of Besaju, targeting Marwyn. In response, Cal casts Swan Song, countering Boon, and Brandon creates a 2-2 bird. Brandon cracks his Memory Jar. Everyone exiles their hand and draws 7 cards. Brandon casts Birds of Paradise. Unfortunately, with nothing else to do, he moves to his end step and Memory Jar triggers. In response, Sean casts Brainstorm. He draws 3 and puts 2 back on top. Also in response, Cal casts Frantic Search. He draws 2, discards 2, and untaps 3 lands. Jar's trigger resolves and everyone discards their hand and returns their exiled cards. Brandon passes to Sean. Sean untaps Ottawara through Winter Orb. During his upkeep, he pays for his Pact of Negation. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Cal with Borborygmos and Fibblethip. They trigger, Sean draws, and discards Exotic Orchard, again targeting Magda. In response, Ryan, in an endless loop, crews Copter with Magda and Blast Miner. Magda triggers and Ryan creates 2 treasures. 
Still in response, Ryan activates Magda, sacrificing five treasures. In response, Cal flashes in, an opposition agent. Numerous triggers, Cal looks at the top two, putting one into his hand and the other into his graveyard. Then opposition agent resolves. Still in response to the Magda search, Ryan sacrifices Barbarian Ring, killing opposition agent. Then Ryan fetches up Clock of Omens onto the battlefield. Cal blocks Borgi and Fibble with Nemrus, and Nemrus dies. With nothing else, Sean ships the turn. Cal untaps Underground Sea through Winter Orb. During his upkeep, he loses his Mana Crypt Flip and takes three damage. Still in his upkeep, he casts Lim Duel's Vault. He looks at the top five cards of his library, doesn't find what he needs, and pays one life to look at the next five. Unable to pay any more life, he keeps those five rearranging. He draws and casts a Mirror Signet. He casts Counterbalance. Cal passes. At the end of Cal's turn, Ryan activates Clock of Omens, tapping it and Winter Orb to untap Smuggler's Copter. The turn moves to Ryan. During his untap, since Winter Orb is tapped, Ryan untaps all of his lands. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt Flip and takes three damage. He draws and casts his commander, Magda Brazen Outlaw. Counterbalance triggers, and Cal reveals Dark Confidant countering Magda. Realizing he should have attacked first, Ryan moves to combat. He attacks Cal with a spirit. With no blocks, Cal takes one and dies. In his second main phase, Ryan casts War of an Armorer. He passes to Brandon. Brandon untaps his forest through Winter Orb. He draws and casts Recycle. He plays a Wooded Foothills. City of Traders triggers and he sacrifices it. Recycle triggers and he draws a card. He cracks his Wooded Foothills, pays a life, and fetches up a forest onto the battlefield. He ends the turn. Sean untaps Tropical Lion through Winter Orb. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Brandon with Borborygmos and Fibblethip. They trigger, Sean draws, and doesn't discard. Brandon takes six and Sean passes. At the end of Sean's turn, Ryan activates Clock of Omens, tapping Orb and Clock to untap Clock itself. Sean ships the turn. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt Flip. He draws and casts the Soul Ring. He activates Clock of Omens, tapping Orb and Clock to untap Coveted Jewel. He casts his commander, Magda, Brazen Outlaw. In response, Sean casts Chain of Vapor, targeting Dockside. Chain resolves and Sean sacrifices Ottawara to copy it, targeting Clock of Omens. Clock is bounced, Ryan floats a red and sacrifices a mountain to copy Chain, targeting his Mana Crypt. Crypt is bounced, he floats a red, then sacrifices a mountain to copy Chain, targeting Soul Ring. Ring is bounced and he floats a red and sacrifices Gemstone Caverns to copy the Chain, targeting Borborygmos and Fibblethip. They are bounced and Sean declines to continue the Chain. Ryan recasts Mana Crypt, he recasts Soul Ring, he casts Clock of Omens. In response, Sean casts Mind Break Trap for its alternate cost, targeting Clock of Omens. Trap resolves and Clock is exiled. Stopped six ways to Sunday, Ryan ends his turn. Brandon skips his draw step due to Recycle. He plays a Verdant Catacombs, drawing through Recycle. He cracks his Catacombs, pays a life, and fetches up a forest onto the battlefield. He casts Force of Vigor, targeting Coveted Jewel and Smuggler's Copter. Recycle triggers and he draws. In response, Ryan crews Copter with four creatures. Magda triggers and Ryan creates four treasures. Then Jewel and Copter are destroyed. Next, Brandon casts Natural Order, sacrificing Birds of Paradise as an additional cost, drawing through Recycle. He fetches up a Regal Forest onto the battlefield. Regal Forest triggers and he draws three cards. He casts Jeweled Lotus and draws through Recycle. He casts Mox Diamond and draws through Recycle again. Diamond resolves and he doesn't discard a land and Diamond goes to the graveyard. He casts Lanoar Elves and draws through Recycle. Marwan triggers and gets a 1-1 counter. He casts Elvish Mystic and draws through Recycle again. Marwan triggers and gets another counter. He casts a Soul Ring and draws through Recycle. Unable to continue, he passes, discarding to hand size. Sean draws and casts Dockside Extortionist. In response, Brandon cracks Jeweled Lotus for 3 green. Dockside enters and Sean creates 11 treasures. He casts his commander, Borborygmos and Fibblethip. They trigger, Sean draws and declines to discard. He casts Mana Vault. He exiles Elvish Spirit Guide from his hand, adding a green. He casts Rhystic Study. He ships the turn. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt Flip and takes 3 damage. He draws and casts Dockside Extortionist, paying for Rhystic. Dockside enters and Ryan creates 9 treasures. He casts Maskwood Nexus and Sean draws through Rhystic. He activates Magda, sacrificing 5 treasures to fetch up an Utvara Hellkite onto the battlefield. He activates Magda again, sacrificing 5 treasures to fetch up a Skargan Hellkite. Hellkite's Riot triggers and Ryan gives it haste. He moves to combat and attacks Brandon with Skargan Hellkite, Dwarven Trader, Dwarven Blast Miner, Dwarven Armor, and attacks Sean with 4 spirits. Since they are all dwarves, and dragons through Maskwood, Magda, and Utvara each trigger eight times. Ryan creates eight six six flying dragons and then creates eight treasures. Brandon blocks Blast Miner with Regal Force and Sean blocks two spirits. Then they both take the rest. In his second main phase, Ryan activates Magda, sacrificing five treasures and fetching up a Tangle Wire onto the battlefield. He passes the turn. Brandon untaps his Enchanted Forest through Winter Orb. During his upkeep, he taps his permanence through Tangle Wire. He skips his draw step due to Recycle. In his main phase, he casts Giant Growth, targeting Marwan, paying for Rhystic and drawing through Recycle, giving Marwan plus three plus three. He casts Garuk, Primal Hunter, paying for Rhystic and drawing through Recycle. He activates Garuk's second ability, drawing six cards. 
He casts Green Sun Zenith where X equals 1. Sean draws through Rhystic and Brandon draws through Recycle. He fetches up Wirewood Symbiote onto the battlefield, shuffling Green Suns back into his library. He activates Wirewood, bouncing Elvish Mystic, untapping Marwa. He casts the Shia, Soul of the Wild, paying for Rhystic and drawing through Recycle. He activates Arbor Elf to untap Marwin since it's now a forest through a Shia. He casts Harmonize. Sean draws through Rhystic and Brandon draws through Recycle. He then draws three cards. He plays an Ancient Tomb as his land for turn and draws through Recycle. He taps his Ancient Tomb to cast Witch's Web, paying for Rhystic and drawing through Recycle. Marwin gets plus three plus three, gains reach, and untaps. He casts Summoner's Pact, paying for Rhystic and drawing through Recycle. He fetches up a Quirion Ranger into his hand. He casts Quirion Ranger, paying for Rhystic, drawing through Recycle, and putting a counter on Marwan. He activates Quirion Ranger, returning itself to Ashaya to untap Marwan. He presents a loop of casting Ranger, then bouncing itself to its ability, untapping Marwan, drawing a card with Recycle, and generating extra mana each time. He repeats this loop until he draws Staff of Domination and then draws through Recycle. He presents another loop of activating Staff to gain life and untapping it to gain infinite life. He casts Aether Flux Reservoir, drawing through Recycle. He activates Reservoir, targeting Sean and Ryan, killing them both, and Brandon wins the game. Wow, what an incredible game. Congrats to Brandon on his win. Players jockeyed back and forth for position and used resources to prevent each other from comboing off. Finally, Brandon was able to draw enough cards to make enough mana to get his combo and win the game. The most valuable card in tonight's game, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to Borborygmos and Fibblethip. Repeatable removal is super powerful, and Sean showed that off tonight. Over and over, Ryan threatened to win, but Sean stopped him at every turn. This commander was overlooked, but is starting to show just what a powerhouse it can be at the CEDH table. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.